ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Ako po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition dahil may tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. May is a senior taking up Bachelor of Special Needs Education at the National Teachers College. This course brings together two of her greatest passions. Hannah is a third-year medtech student at Our Lady of Fatima University. She likes to dance and listens to OPM. Seb is an active student leader and third-year BSECE student at PUP Manila. He's an animal lover, enjoys watching anime, playing online games, and listening to music. Seb is also passionate about learning new things and is a motorcycle enthusiast. And lastly, Gail is a third-year BSME student at PUP Manila. Passionate about engineering, she balances her academic pursuits with a love for cats. She's also a huge fan of TWICE. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's Skate Check panel of experts. We have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, a painter, sculptor, film and TV director, critic, and multimedia artist, a professor emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, ito na ang opportunity na kayo ay magpakitang gilas. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In what 2013 Disney movie did Anna and her sister Elsa appear? Seb. Frozen. Frozen is correct. Hey, check. In music, question number two. How many strings do most guitars have? Seb. Six. Six is correct. Hey, check. Question number three. What is the rate of doing work or the total energy consumed per unit time and whose units are watt and joule? The correct answer is power. Question number four. El Nido and Coron can be found in what province? May. Palawan. Palawan is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the capital of New Zealand? May. Europe? Ay. Europe is Malay. The correct answer is Wellington. Question number six. In a food web, what do you call an organism that makes it its own food from the environment, usually a plant? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is mali. Seb. Prey. Prey. Prey is mali. Okay, the correct answer is producer. Question number seven. In geometry, what is the area in square meters of a rectangle measuring 12 meters by 5 meters? 10. 60. 60 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 8. November is the end of the southwest monsoon season in some parts of the Philippines. What is the local name of the southwest monsoon? 10. Habagat. Habagat is correct. Okay, check. Question number 9. In what continent can you find the South Pole? Uh, Anna. Ant 
Antarctica. Antarctica is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. In the temperate regions of the Earth, what season is between spring and autumn? May. Winter. Winter is malik. Anna. Summer. Summer is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Which military general is the brother of painter Juan Luna? Gail. Antonio Luna. Antonio Luna is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. Porsche, BMW, Porsche or Porsche are some of the best-selling brands of which country? Seb. Italy. Italy is Malay. Hana. China. China is Malay. May. United Kingdom. United Kingdom is Malay. Gail. France. France is Malay. It's Germany. And that ends round number one. Recap po muna tayo sa ating scores. Seb is leading with 50 points. Hannah with 20 points. May with 10. Gail, ahabol ka pa sa susunod na round. Okay, ang kagandahan kasi dito sa K-Check, sa bawat round ay may chance kayong makahabol. So, laging tandaan, habang may round, may pag-asa. Okay, kwentuhan muna tayo. Prof. Gigi, may itatanong daw po kayo kay May. Oo, oh, kasi interesado ako dito kay May. Kasi nandun sa uh, bio note niya, na meron daw siyang dalawang passions na pinag-combine dito sa studies mo, dito sa special needs education. Ano nga ba itong dalawang passions na ito? Yes po. Yung passion po na pinag-combine ko sa pag-take po ng course ko ngayon, which is yung Bachelor of Special Needs Education or Teaching Kids and Public Speaking. Yan po. Thank you. Thank you, May. Thank you po. Thank you. Si Prof. Neil naman, may tanong naman para kay Hana. Yan, yeah, napaka-refreshing na mapakinggan ang gusto ni Hana ang OPM. Kasi kadalasan, nung mga nagdaang episodes, K-pop ang preferred music ng karamihan. So, ang tanong ko, bakit nahilig ka sa OPM? Um, for me po kasi, marami nga pong genre when it comes to music. Pero, iba pa rin po yung feeling pag sarili mo pong lingwahe yung binabanggit mo po din sa kanila. Mas, um, mas nakakapag-reflect din po ako. Yun po. Okay. So, maraming salamat. Dapat mahali natin ang sarili natin ng siga. Thank you for that reminder, Hana. Okay, kapag kausap natin yung mga contestants about their interest, parang nawawala yung kaba nila. Sana mag-carry over ito hanggang sa kaduluduluhan ng ating contest ngayong araw. Malalaman natin yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng points. Nangunguna si Seb with 50 points. Nasinundan ni Hannah with 20 points. May with 10 points. At si Gail, pwede pang humabuli uli sa ating susunod na round. Ngayon naman, kakausapin ni Prof. Marian ang mga animal lovers natin. Bila ako yung animal lover din. Gail, cat lover ka. Anong rason ba't gusto mo ng cat? At ilan ang cats mo? Um, meron po akong tatlong cats named Kobe, Loy, and Mingming. Pero nawala po kasi si Mingming and sana po bumalik na rin siya. And ayun po, I like cats dahil gusto ko po yung dominant energy na binibigay po nila. And parang gusto ko ako yung naglalambing dun sa mga animals. Ganun. Mingming, umuwi ka na. <laughs> And Seb, sabi mo animal lover ka. Yes, Pero hindi mo naman sinabi anong animals. Uh, anong animals ang favorite mo? Favorite ko po is dogs. Pero kahit anong animal, basta hindi ako sasagpangin. Eh. Ipipet ko po yun. <laughs> Tsaka ayun po, uh, uh, kung may mga makita po kayo yung mga stray dogs, stray cats, uh, lagi po natin isipin kung ano yung pinagdaraanan nila. Kaya wag po natin silang saktan. And bigyan natin ng pagkain as long as kaya natin. Ganyan po. Po, eh. Thank you, ang ganda nun. Thank you. Ayan, yung
yung empathy no kahit sa mga animals kailangan ini extend natin yan. So maraming salamat sa mapaalala na yan. Pero magready na kayo dahil ito na ang round 2. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin. Question number one. Two major earthquakes, one in 2015 and another in 2023, have hit Nepal. High up in the seismically active Himalayan region. In what continent can you find Nepal? Gail. Asia. Asia is correct. Key check. Question number two. Reaching a speed of 120 km per hour in short bursts, what is the fastest land animal? Uh, Hannah. Uh, May. Cheetah. Cheetah is correct. Paycheck. Question number three. What is stored in the military installation Fort Knox in Kentucky, United States? which is estimated to be worth $300 billion. Uh, Hannah. KFC. KFC is mali. Uh, Gold. Golds. Gold. Gold is correct. Okay, check. Number four. In 2017, which music artist made it to number one with the mega hits? Shape of You and Perfect. Sorry, Gail. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is correct. Okay. Okay, question number five. What character did Israeli actress Gal Gadot play in the 2017 film Justice League? Gail. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is correct. Hey, check. Question number six. What scientific term may mean a measure of the amount of space an object takes up or the loudness of a sound? May. Volume. Volume is correct. Hey, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the highest mountain in Greece, which is also the name of the home of the gods in Greek mythology? Seb. Olympus. Olympus. Okay, is correct. Or Mount Olympus is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In geometry, what is the complement of an angle that has a measure of 25 degrees? Okay, the correct answer is 65 degrees. Question number nine. What is the unit of energy equal to lifting 550 pounds, one foot in one second? The correct answer is horsepower. Question number 10. What historic war ended in August 1945 with the surrender of Japan? Seb. World War II. World War II is correct. Key check. Question number 11. What general term refers to an animal that spends part of its life on water and part on land? The correct answer is amphibian. Last question for this round. Meaning big house. What is the title given to Egyptian rulers during the ancient times? Seb. Pharaoh. Pharaoh is correct. Kate That ends our second round. Okay, recap muna tayo sa mga scores natin. Si Seb ay leading with 110 points, followed by Gail with 80 points, and May at 50 points. And with Hannah, we'd like to note na on question number two, you failed to answer the question correctly, so we need to deduct it right now. That's okay. Meron ka pang chance later na bumawi. Dahil hindi pa tapos ang laban, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng paycheck.
Welcome back to K-Check. Points Rica po muna tayo. Seb is the leading with 110 points. Followed by Gail with 80 points. And then May with 50 points. And Hannah, hahabol siya dapat sa ating last round. Okay? At speaking of last round, ito na po ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At sa ating panel of experts nga, manggagaling ang mga katanungan para mas exciting. This is it guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Let's begin with Prof. Marian. Okay, wag matakot mas sumagot ha. Question number one from me. Which flower has the scientific name Jasminum Sambac? A. Brasal B. Gumamela C. Sampagita D. Kalachuchi and E. Ilang-ilang Okay, Jasminum Sambac symbolizes purity, fidelity, and hope because of its white flowers. It's our national flower. The correct answer is C, Sampagita. Thank you. Premier. Which Asian country saw the emergence of several empires such as Mataram, Bajapahit, and Singhasari? A, Brunei, B, Indonesia, C, Malaysia, B, Thailand, E, Vietnam. B. Ang bansang ito ay ang pinakamalaking archipelago sa buong mundo at ang pinakamataong bansa sa timog silang ang Asia. Ang tamang sagot ay B, Indonesia, K-Check. Salamat, Prof. Gigi. Ito naman ang aking tanong. What is the fiber used in the traditional Filipino art of hand weaving uh, known as tinalak? This is found in Mindanao Island, made by the Tibolese of Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. A. Cotton B. Silk C. Piña D. Abaca E. Rayon Malay. Seb. C. Si. Pinya. Malay. May. Silk. Letter B. Malay. Gay. D. Abaca. This traditional cloth is made of abaca fibers, which traditionally are in three colors red, black, and the original color of. The abaca leaves. Okay, check. Thank you. Marian. Let's go to geometry. Which of the following do not lie? Do not lie on exactly one plane. A. Two parallel lines. B. Three non-collinear points. C. Two points. D. A line and a point not on the line, and E, two intersecting lines. Okay. Apat doon, they lie on exactly one plane. Ang hindi will be two points. So the correct answer there is C, two points. Rockman? This refers to the aggregate of people living together in a more or less ordered community. A. Civilization B. Culture C. Social System B. Society E. Democracy A. Letter A Bale D. Society. Lipunan ang katumbas ng salitang ito sa wikang Filipino. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D. Society. K-check. 
economic risk. What is the term used for the intricate Filipino art creating decorative designs by hammering and chiseling metal? It is locally called pinokpok, pamolde, binalot, tinusok, sinuksok. These metal art forms are embossed on metal sheets by pounding metal on a wooden sculptured bowl. Okay, check. Okay, um, who is the Filipina who invented the bamboo incubator? and was named as the country's first national scientist. A. Flora Diogracias B. Fedel Mundo C. Filomena Diaz D. Feliza de la Cruz or E. Dorotea Caldito We should be proud of this Filipina, the bamboo incubator was designed by this pediatrician in 1941 to be a low-cost alternative to modern medical incubators for rural communities. The correct answer is B, Dr. Fe Del Mundo. According to the 2020 Philippine Census of Population and Housing, which of the following is the top foreign ethnicity in the country? A. American B. Chinese C. Indian D. South Korean E. Japanese Seb, B. Chinese Marami sa mga dayuhang naninirahan sa bansa ay nagmula sa East Asia. Pinakamarami sa kanila ay nagmula sa China. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Chinese K-check. Thank you. Dikit na po ang laban between Seb and Gail. Pero siyempre, may few questions pa tayo. Tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Prof. Gigi. What is the folk art of paper mache made by using carved wooden sculpture as mold from the town of Paete, Laguna? A. Ikat B. Taka C. Tuk Tok B. Tik Tak E. Tik Tok <laughs> Ana D. Tik Tok Mali Gil A. Ikat Mali May C Mali Seb B. The folk art originated in the town of Peete, Laguna. That is a town well known for wooden sculpture in the Philippines. B. Taka. Okay, check. Thank you. Last round. Science. What is the staining method which makes use of crystal violet and safranin and is used to classify bacteria based on their cell wall composition? A. Simple stain B. Capsule stain C. Gram stain D. Acid fast E. None of the above Anna. C. Gram stain Okay, mukhang alam na alam ni Hana. The methods above are all common bacterial staining methods to identify bacteria. Iba-iba lang ko anong part at anong ginagamit. And the correct answer is C, gram stain. So, K-check! Thank you. Prof. Neil. Which of the following is the name of the fort built by the Spaniards in Sambuanga City? A. Fuerte de San Pedro B. Fuerza de San Antonio Abad C. Fuerta de Santa Isabel D. Real de Fuerte de Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza E. Real de Fuerte 
de San Isidro. Ito ay ang itinayong kuta ng mga Espanyol upang magsilbing tanggulan laban sa mga Moro. Sa kasalukuyan, ang simpleng tawag sa kutang ito ay Fort Pilar. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Real de Fuerte de Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza. Thank you. Last question, Prof. Gigi. Who was the Filipino National Artist for Visual Arts in the year 2001? Born to Chinese immigrant parents. A. Tomas Pinpin B. Ramon Ang C. Ang Kyukok D. Michael T. E. George Young His distinct style combines surrealism, cubism, and expressionism and he expressed his art as a form of social commentary. Siya po ay Ang Kyukok. Thank you so much. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Seb, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 185 points. Congratulations. Thank you, boss. Congratulations. So makakasama po natin si Seb Bukas when he competes with the other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Siyempre, maraming salamat din kay May, kay Hannah, at kay Gail for participating. Thank you so much. And of course, our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>